Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of molar pregnancy. A 20 years old female patient came with amenorrhea for 4 months. She had complained for pervaginal bleeding for several days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse and longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see a mass-like area within the uterine cavity with diffuse cystic appearance. This ecogenic mass with numerous cystic spaces is forming the typical honeycomb or snowstorm appearance, which goes in favor of molar pregnancy. As we are doing transabdominal ultrasound, it may be difficult for us to exclude the invasive nature. To evaluate more, we have put the color Doppler. You can see with color Doppler, there is no vigorous blood flow towards the mole. And also there is no aberrant vascular nature like tornado vessels or large lacunar vessels, which help exclude invasion, though it is well evaluated on MRI or transvaginal sonography. Here is the picture, you can see there is a large ecogenic mass with internal cystic spaces within the center of the uterus, indicating molar pregnancy. Here is the color Doppler pictures, no aberrant vascular flow is seen. As there is no severe vascular flow here, it will also be helpful for clinician to evacuate without massive bleeding. So in summary, a bulky uterus is seen, heterogeneously ecogenic central intrauterine mass with internal diffuse cystic spaces is seen without any associated fetal part forming the snowstorm appearance. Color Doppler shows no vigorous flow towards or within the lesion. So this feature is concluded as a case of molar pregnancy or hydatidy for mole. Now the take home message. Molar pregnancy can be easily diagnosed on transabdominal ultrasound but TVS and MRI help exclude the invasive nature. Thank you for watching this video. We have also uploaded several molar pregnancy cases on our YouTube channel, so don't forget to check them. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.